What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Nice Guy and it is Mario Kart time. We are playing Mario Kart 8 on the Nintendo Wii U. The last episode I talked about the uh, Super Smash Bros. Direct which is like a week old. But I wanted to give my thoughts on it so if you guys are interested in hearing that you guys can check out for the previous episode. Just go to my channel and all that stuff and backtrack. It's not that hard. Anyways, this episode we're doing some more online races here worldwide. And looks like a lot of people are choosing Royal Raceway. So let's see what we get for this track. It's taking a little while to load here. Hopefully we didn't get it. Okay, good. Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't really had a, like a disconnection from Mario Kart 8 in a long time online. Like at launch, I remember the online was pretty bad, but it got better. And I feel like that happened quite a lot with like Nintendo's games for some reason when the online at the beginning. Like, the first party games can be a little laggy in the beginning, and then it gets a little better yeah, towards the end. But, I switched it up this time. Last time we were using Donkey Kong on the sport bike. This time we're using Rosalina on the jet bike, and yes, I was correct last episode um, about the name. This thing is actually called the jet bike. So, it's kind of fitting for uh, Rosalina to be riding on the jet, pack, the jet bike, not the jet pack, what am I saying? Um... Uh, considering she is from outer space, from the Super Mario Galaxy franchise. I um, mean, it's a jet, it's not a rocket bike, but it kind of makes sense in that way, you know? It has like these j um, small little jet rocket engines in the back of it that look pretty awesome. Like, I like the look of the back of this bike, but I'm not a huge fan of the front. That's why I really don't use it that much, but the back looks awesome just with these engines. Um... But actually, now that I've played these bikes, like, all three of these, uh, inside bikes, drift bikes in a row, like, uh, the Comet, the sports bike, and the jet bike here, I'm gonna have to say, I think the Comet sounds the best, to be honest. I'm just a fan of how it sounds, and looks, so, I mean, maybe that's just another reason why I do prefer to use the, uh, the Comet inside, instead of, uh, the other ones, and... A little too late for my uh, golden mushroom to go away, so I didn't get an item out of that item box, which kind of sucks, but and that sucks even more, because he's going to put me backwards, and everyone else got those boost panels to get hit right after they got shocked, so lucky them. Anyways, last episode we didn't do that well, because I was talking a lot, so let's try and do a little bit better uh, this episode. But, I do actually have something I wanted to talk about this episode. And it's going to be story time with Mr. Nice Guy. And I just totally took that red shell because I didn't have an item. Anyways, back to my story. It actually has this to do with uh, school. So, this morning, when I got to school, I realized that the power was off. And I totally feel that shortcut there. Yeah, so the power was off at my school. I don't know why. There was, like, some um, trucks there for people who were trying to fix, the, like, the power. Like, construction people or whatever, they, whatever they're called that try and, like, fix the power. And they were there trying to fix the power. And so, the, I mean, the school was using its backup generator. So the lights, we did have lights on. It wasn't, like, pitch black dark at school. There was lights, but they were dim. And I didn't realize that was the final lap. <laughs> um... They were dim, and some not all the lights were on, and the teachers were telling everyone you have to either report to the cafeteria, to the gym, or to the auditorium. And because I'm a smart person, I went to the auditorium, because in the auditorium, they have the soft and comfortable chairs in there. Because in the um, cafeteria, you had to sit on those like plastic chairs, and in the gym, I think everyone just had to stand up in the gym, so that didn't sound fun. So that's why I went to the auditorium and I almost fell asleep in the auditorium sitting in that chair we were in there I was in the auditorium like waiting for them to fix the power for like a little over an hour probably and we missed our entire first hour of school and we went like right to our um, second hour after it was all done so I'm, I was pretty angry about that because I have no idea why they made us go into school, even though the power was off. They should have, we should have had a late start because they were trying to fix the power. Thought that was really stupid. So, yeah, I have no idea. And I was kind of hoping that they 
the, to getting the power back on was going to take a really long time, so they would have just excused us and let them go, us go back. But that was not the case, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, being at school with the power off, I guess. I mean, I come to sc some people might be happy about that because, you know, you don't have to do anything, but... I mean, I go to school because that's the point of going to school is to learn. I don't want to sit in a dark auditorium with barely any lights on for like an hour. Uh, and this lobby seems a little laggy because there's people kind of like lag teleporting and stuff. And a lag teleporter pushed me into the water back there, so that was fun. Anyway, so when I was in the auditorium, uh, they ended up fixing uh, the electricity and they got, they got the electricity back on. But because our school is really big, it takes a while for all the lights and stuff to power up. So, after we got the electricity on, the backup uh, generator turned off because, you know, why do you need the backup generator on if the electricity's on? So, because it's taken a while for the um, normal lights to turn on, because it takes a while for all that electricity to power everything, um, it was just pitch black dark inside of the room for a second, so everybody started screaming. It was really kind of annoying. Like, all the girls were screaming because it's dark, and everyone turned on their uh, flashlights in their phone and stuff like that, so... Yeah, that was pretty funny. And there's, like, some people who brought, like, laser pointers, and they're, like, pointing them around, even though laser pointers are not allowed at school, because I've known, like, people who've gotten in trouble for bringing them to school, but people were, like, shining them, because it was all dark, and... Yeah. So it was a little crazy, unique day at school. <laughs> so, yeah, that's basically my story for the day of what happened to me during school, so, yeah, it's pretty interesting, anyways, I need to focus on winning now, I haven't done too well these previous, uh, this episode and the last episode, so I will try and win for you guys, that guy just fell in the water, I witnessed that, that was pretty funny, <laughs> alright, we can do this guys, and they always steal my item box there. I think that's like every single time. Oh, man. I knew I was going to... Wow. I knew I was going to hit that red shell because I knew I was just going to land on it. And, yeah, I don't see myself doing much catching up, guys. So I think this might be another low-placed uh, race. So, oh, that might help. But I probably should have held on to it for a little bit longer, so... Let's hopefully use that to at least pass this one guy out. Oh crap. Go beat Mario at least. There we go. Eighth place. Ah, not bad, but at least we gained two VR, so it wasn't all terrible. And it's it's very hard to commentate and tell like a story and play at the same time. Uh, like, for anyone who does, like, Let's Plays, they, know, they call it, like, the Let's Play curse, where they play absolutely terrible whenever they Let's Play. It's because they're trying to talk and play at the same time, and it's no easy task. But Let's Play Twisted Mansion in the... Because it's Halloween. Well, by the time you guys are watching this video, uh, Halloween has already passed. But for me, uh, when I'm recording this video, it hasn't been Halloween yet, so... Let's say, uh... I'll get you next time because I will get you guys. I'm, I plan to come in first place. All right. Um, as long as it's not Rainbow Road, I think I might have a chance of getting first place. So let's see what we get. Hey, Twisted Mansion, just the one I was hoping for. Sweet. I'm not terrible at uh, Toad's Turnpike. And what happened? Okay, everyone was just stand still. I think we're. A little bit of a laggy um, lobby here. Laggy lobby, that's some alliteration for you. But let's hope that lag does not uh, make things go bad. Come on, please no disconnect. Okay, there we go, now he's starting. I, you know, if there's a little bit of lag, I won't care that much. I just don't want to disconnect. So that would be annoying. Alright. Oh, geez, that boomerang, though. Just gonna. Okay, that piranha plant, though. 
I'm just gonna, you know, maybe stage the outside wall away from that boomerang. There it is. Look at that. See, that, that was smart thinking. So I'm a smart cookie. I don't know. Why do people say, like, you're a smart cookie? It's weird. Have you guys ever heard that term? I didn't know cookies were very smart. Or maybe it's like sarcasm, because cookies aren't smart, so calling someone a smart cookie really isn't that much of a compliment. It's like an... It's called an oxymoron, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not the best at English. English class. It's probably one of my least favorite classes. Oh, this was a terrible idea. You, you stay in front of me, sir, with that red shell. As I take the shortcut. But I want to get in front of somebody, so there we go. They can be my red shell defense. <laughs> there we go. Another triple mushrooms. All right, first place person. I'm coming for you. I believe in myself. We can do this. All right. Getting fire flower is not going to help me out at all. I'll just backspam that, get rid of that, because I want um, items here. And there's somebody behind me. Okay, I'm definitely going to get messed up by this guy's green shells here. Maybe not. I escaped them, I hopefully. Oh, could not escape that, though. But that'll actually help me out, because it'll slow down the person in first place a lot. And that guy in first place hopefully does not have an item, because of that um, lightning. So I'm going to throw that red there. Okay, this guy's giving me a little boost, even though... All right, there we go. See, we've, now we got this competition close. That person first place is not too far away now, and I'm bumping into walls, and go get out of my face, ink. See, look at these people in front of me. They have ink, but I don't, so they might mess up a little bit. Um, looks like they didn't mess up, and please be my shield. Okay, he was my shield, and I drafted off of him, but that still was not enough for my first place, so... Uh, Maybe next race. Is this, is there a next race? Yeah, there's. I think this is only our third race. So I think we got one more race here. Even though it's 12 minutes, so it's episodes have been a little longer, I guess. Or I guess we're just getting in some longer levels here. All right, let's try. I think we just did. A, yeah, we did Wario Stadium last time. Let's try Sherbet Land. I'm not amazing at this track, but I'm not terrible. So. Uh, what is this guy supposed to be? Is he supposed to be something? I don't think so. His face looks really weird. He kind of looks like a turtle. And I thought he was trying to be, like, something, like, from a show or something. But maybe not. And we're getting, um, whatever the stage is called. Is it, I know, I don't even remember what the stage is called. Is it called Sub Coaster? I think that's what it's called. Because there's a, it's like a roller coaster, and then there's a submarine. So, yeah. It's if you guys didn't know, it's not talking about uh, subs as subway sandwiches. It's talking about submarines, not the other kind of subs. Come on, don't lag. There we go. Either that, or it's called water park, like that boat says to our left, or it's called marine coaster, like that big sign in front of us says. So. I don't know the name of this track. And I got a green shell, so that'll give me a little bit of protection there. There we go. It's always good to have protection, guys. Remember that. For basically everything. In Mario Kart. And riding your bike. And in activities you do in the bed. What? I just got wrecked from that super horn because I was holding my bomb out. And he blew it up and it blew up my bomb. That wasn't very fun. Probably a bad decision by me. But, that was a... That's very nice. You know... Oh, give me... Aw, oh, I wanted that. Manders? Or was it Carlos? I don't know who took it. I actually didn't want to use that. Kind of wanted to hold on to it. But we took the outside there to pick up some coinage. Oh, no. Stay away from me. Alright, can I draft you, Carlos? Thank you, buddy. All right, Wario, time to get passed up. Okay, probably could have took that turn a little tighter, but I did have um, 
uh, boost, so it's a little hard to take sharp turns when you're boosting. Oh man, that guy got inked and he couldn't see a thing. Oh, block it. Okay, that's not coming for me anyways. Oh, crap. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm gonna wait a little bit until maybe one of these guys uses their item. I probably should have used it there and then picked up a new item. Now that I think about it, I'll do that with this next one. I doubt that'll give me enough time to pass out these guys, but let's use that. Oh, there's a blue shell coming. Let me get out of the way for that. Okay, go, go. Maybe this guy in front of me, Carlos, will get hit. Nope, he's not going to get hit in that. Oh, that was third place. I don't know if you guys saw, but that looked like I should have had second place there. Even on the on the gamepad, I, it, I went up to second place, and then they pushed me back down to third place. So, sadly, no first place for you guys today, but that's going to be it for this episode. Maybe next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, feel free to check out my other videos. My name is Mr. Nice Guy, and I will talk to you later.